My mother was born in Charing Cross, London. My grandmother, within the sound of Bow Bells, <coughs> which meant she was company. But she put on airs. She, she joined the theatre. <laughs> That's what they did. That was where the, the, the terrible Cockney accent came from. With the, um, they, would, they would always put H's in front of everything but the H. <laughs> so, so it was always, Ock the Herald, what's it, it's the Ock the Herald Angels Sing. That's Cockney. They got it all backward. But, that, but my, my grandmother um, would, every so often when she got really angry, she kind of, you'd hear a little bit of Cockney in her, but for the most part, she had this very London type voice because well, that was the way we did things in theatre. And um, I was raised by my grandmother, so of course, I originally I actually spoke with an English accent until the kids teased me so bad in, in kindergarten I dropped it. I started studying my father, who was born in Kansas City, Missouri. <laughs> and I got a very confused um, uh, language after that because it was either go and wash your hands. Uh, <laughs> I would mix things up back and forth. People were like, where do you come from? But um, when I got too, too Celtic for the room, I'd mar march around the house being too Celtic for the room, my father would get very angry. And he would, you know, put his eyes out. He'd slap the table and goes, you were born in America. Don't you ever forget you were an American. Yes, sir. So, with all the Celtic music that I do, and all the, the, um, the stories and the, uh, the fairy tales of, of Celtic tradition that I do in my repertoire, I thought I should really have some Americana folklore as well. And so I figured, I looked around, and I found a, a cool Appalachian tune called Cold Frosty Morning. And I coupled that with my absolute favorite American folktale, which is the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Yes. So this is this is a song called Ichabod Crane. I'm 
singing and kebab crazy. Singing it. 